Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, is set to wow royal fans at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee with a special performance, a royal expert has claimed. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge surprised royal fans in December when she performed a piano piece during a televised Christmas Eve concert in Westminster Abbey. Kate accompanied Scottish singer-songwriter Tom Walker as he performed his new Christmas song, For Those Who Can't Be Here. But royal expert Neil Sean has since claimed Kate will be returning to the Keys for the Jubilee this summer. Speaking on his YouTube channel, Mr. Sean said, Everybody in the inner circle of the royals are hoping that Kate may have a reprieve and wish to do something very similar again in June this year. Apparently that has gone down so well they're now looking at redoing something rather different this time with Kate once again taking to the keys. I'm not sure if she's going to be teaming up with someone but of course who would not want to be part of such a wonderful achievement of 70 years on the throne? We know Kate and the Queen are very close indeed and if that's one of her wishes I think Kate certainly will oblige. Kate is seen as the monarchy's safe pair of hands. After turning 40 this month, more than a decade on from marrying into the royal family, she outwardly navigates her life with ease, despite the challenges facing the Windsors. With a keep calm and carry on approach, the Duchess has been heralded as channeling the same characteristics of charm, politeness, and toughness as the Queen Mother, who was once described as a marshmallow made on a welding machine. Unusually, key former aides have spoken on the record as Kate approaches her milestone birthday, perhaps indicative of how the monarchy is increasingly conscious of the Duchess's future role. Jamie Lau the Pinkerton, who was private secretary to the Cambridges and the Duke of Sussex, and used to work for the Queen Mother, told the Times, she takes time to talk to people. She is tough. She has got that Queen Mother feel in her so that when things need doing, she is there to do them. Kate is a future Princess of Wales and, one day, just like the Queen Mother, is set to become a Queen Consort. The Queen, who was put on doctor's orders to rest in October, is just five years away from her 100th birthday and a month from reaching her Platinum Jubilee. In what appears to be a monarchy in transition, seeing the Queen conducting video audiences from the confines of Windsor Castle has become the norm. The Duke of Cambridge's former university flatmate has carefully carved out her charity work since marrying William in 2011 and becoming an HRH. Gradually and patiently developing her role over the years, she has focused on mental health and the early years of childhood, and is known to meticulously research the issues facing the charities she works with. Kate and William have faced personal challenges over the past year, dealing with the fallout from Megxit and the Sussex's bombshell Oprah interview. The Duchess was publicly singled out by the Duchess of Sussex in the primetime television show for allegedly making former Suits actress Meghan cry in the run-up to her wedding. Meghan Markle gets a bad rap in the British press, whereas people across the pond in the US tend to like her more. Whether this is because Markle is from the US, or because Americans don't adore the royal family or the idea of monarchies, her and Prince Harry's ratings continue to fluctuate in both countries. Akin to her ratings, Markle's relationships with the rest of the royal family are strained. Markle has openly said the royal family was constantly berating her when in England with Harry, and the two ultimately left the UK and moved to the US because of this.